we can improve people's lives by improving their appearance. That means that we can make a change from without. Think about it. Most celebrities are not born gorgeous. They just realize how much their appearance affects their success. Do you know who this is? I can hear you sing. And now, Norma Jean became the sex goddess Marilyn Monroe. It is only depends on how she looks that changes everything. When people look at you, what do they see? What do you want them to think about you? In the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you some tips on how you can improve your first impression. Actually, I define myself as an impression expert more than a personal stylist. As a young girl with ADHD, no ability to concentrate in class, and hardly read or write, I've heard from the education system that my internal capabilities are insufficient. Since I was insufficient within, I decided to improve myself from without. I want to show you something. That was me. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was too skin, no curves, huge glasses, shapeless hair, or in plain English, I wasn't impressive. So I wanted to change myself, and that's what I did. At the next morning, I came to school a completely different person. Everybody looked at me different. Even the teacher looked at me differently. All of a sudden, all the learning environment wanted to help me succeed. So I realized that everything changed for me for the better just because I looked better. It was the first time I realized that the change can start from the outside. Success also works from the outside. So basically, I wanted to know everything I could about the ideal of beauty. Despite my disabilities, I found myself for more than 12 years in various universities only to find out that it's all about, all about proportions. It's all about a very special proportion called the golden ratio. It is a pattern that the human eyes likes to see. The ratio is 1 to 1.618. It is a very special ratio. For example, if we will take a rectangle with these proportions, it can copy itself indefinitely when every one of these rectangles keeps exactly the same proportion. We can find it as well everywhere, like in smallest things like our DNA. When the length of one sequence is 1.618 longer than its string, we can find us even in new things like the pyramids. The golden ratio is embedded in most forms people like to see, like the human body and face. Whether God made it or man made it, it is there. It is what it is. Without even noticing, people will engage with our image the closer our image is to the golden ratio. Since not all of us were born with the perfect body proportion, you may ask, how can we bring ourselves closer to these golden proportions? So, here is the thought. If beauty has mathematical formula, then it's supposed to be easy to achieve. To make it more accessible, I decided, decided to create a software that will be based on the golden ratio, and the way people perceive colors and shape. And this is very funny how people perceive shapes, by the way. It's like a game, okay? It's like a game of reality versus perception. 
Reality is the true existence of form in our universe, while perception is how our brain translates these forms. Illusion means tricking the mind to get a new perception. Example, look at these two dots. In reality, they look the same. They have the same size. But adding different forms or colors around them make us feel that they are different. So if I will add around me different clothes, colors, and accessories, you will think I'm different. I, I call the game of dressing up an illusion. And right here lies the solution. We can use illusion in order to change our proportions to a better one, to those who are close to the golden ratio. What's the benefits? Besides you looking your best, people will feel more comfortable with you and your appearance when you go, when you're closer to the golden ratio. I want to share something with you. It's going to be probably quite funny. Look at me. And you can laugh as much as you want. I want to show you how God really created me. <laughs> I just started. Wait. <laughs> OK. Is it terrible enough? Wait. Wait. And now. Imagine me coming to you right now and telling you hello. My name is Orly Shai. I'm the best stylist in the world. Do you want to do shopping or work with me anyway? No one will, believe me. I tried that, by the way. <laughs> what happened right now, the, the shape or the place that my eyes are located is higher on my face. So basically what I need to do is add more volume to the top of my head, OK, with my hair. And voila. <laughs> Thank you. Wait. Another example. Look at the shape of my chin. Let's make a quick jump to improve the shape of my chin. Basically, the shape of my chin is very narrow in comparison to what it was supposed to be. <laughs> so my mommy here. So mommy, I'm sorry. So. What I'm doing is I'm adding more horizontal lines with my haircut here. This is the first thing I'm, I'm doing. And the next thing I'm going to do is to create another horizontal line here at my neckline. Now look at my face. While I'm having a horizontal line here and there, they look a little bit wider than if I will add vertical lines. Can you see that? Again. Horizontal. Much better, Orly. <laughs> Vertical lines. Do you see? Da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't like her. I don't think good. OK, so let me shake myself, because I want you to hear me up. <laughs> One more thing I want to address length. Look at the legs of my legs and my arms. Too long, believe me. Basically, my arms like monkey. <laughs> I can almost touch my knee. Who can touch his knee? Come on. <laughs> so if you can, it's one sign that you should call me. I will tell you what to do. But <laughs> the second thing is, I have like huge and endless legs. They start from here. <laughs> Truly, it's very easy to see. But what I do, I do not, I did nothing to improve the shapes of my arms because I believe that you cannot improve everything all the time. But if you will look at my legs, the way that I cut them with the length of my dress makes it harder for you to understand that this is not the real me. It goes on and on. I can improve your waist shape very easily in small changes that will look natural. But for me, standing here, it's quite easy talking about myself and my appearance. Most people, it will be very hard for them to stand here or in front of any other person and explain to him how God really created you. Most of my clients are even embarrassed to talk with me about it, even though they want my advice. 
So here's a thought. If it's only math, no emotion, an algorithm can do it too. So why do they need my presence? I decided to create a software so my services will be there 24-7 on your mobile. And I want to show you what it can do. And before that, I want to tell you that it's going to be a, a style wizard that will help us choose clothes and accessories according to our preferences and to our proportions. And the coolest thing is, it's going to be automatically and very easy to use. It means dressing up in accord with mathematical rules instead of emotionals. Let's take this perfect lady and say that this is not us and we want to choose glasses for ourselves. So let's help her a little bit, help her a little bit, look at her eyes. I'm going to push them a little bit up. I can do that in Photoshop. And then I'm going to let them to be a little bit closer. I think it's enough for today. <laughs> and what the software is going to do is find glasses that will correct even a little bit her eyes to the right position. I can also help you, you know, choose wisely and do not choose glasses like this one. Let's see them both. Same lady, different glasses, different feeling towards her. So what we are going to see right now, that I'm going to choose a male, and then I'm going to choose, I'm not going to choose body style, not today, or any st other style, I'm going to choose head style, and I can upload his photo, his facial photo. I'm going to choose it for my phone gallery. I have a very nice guy there. We're going to push it, it's going to go in, here is the guy, and we're going to start. Now, we have another option if you want to have haircuts. I'm going to choose glasses for him as well, eyeglasses for him as well. And while the software is rendering, he knows his facial feature and looking, surfing for the web for the right glasses for him and giving him results. But only three results. If he asks classic, basic, only three, not 2,000 like we have, and we could see it. If, it's, if he likes it or not as well. But the coolest thing that I really, really love about this software is this little eye, this information button, that right now I can go in and, and see why did the wizard choose these glasses for me? What the shape does for my eyes? How does these colors help for me to look healthier? And of course, if this style good for me and for my preferences. At the end of the day, I'm going to share it with friends or buy it anywhere online. And basically, that's a part of what the software is going to do. As we saw, we act emotionally to our appearance. But at the end of the day, it just forms and patterns that our brains likes to see. If we listen to our brain's preferences, it will be easy for us to dress for success. This is amazing. There are more than 7 billion people on Earth, yet no one has the same body combinations, even twins, by the way. So there are more than 7 billion different body combinations. Only one is yours. Bring it out. Make it count. Thank you. Thank you.